Hi there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this video I'm going to teach you how to play um, the piano part um, to No One by Alicia Keys. So I'm going to do my best to sing um, a little bit of the sections just as a reference point but if you can't already tell I'm a little bit under the weather with my voice <laughs> so I do sound a bit nasally at the moment. I'm going to take you through all the sections today. It's fairly repetitious, there's just the minor changes um, from section to section um, so I'll just go over all of those and try to teach it as accurately as I can. Hello my name is Francesca and I'm a teacher here at Bite Size Piano. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, I'd love to have you here learning from my piano tutorials. Please give the video a like if you enjoy it and that it's useful. I do take piano tutorial requests so if you would like to request one from me stick around to the end of the video with our instructions on how you can do that. Here on Bite Size Piano I make all sorts of tutorials so um, go have a rummage around my channel, see what else you can learn, make sure to hit the notifications bell and I've left a few playlists in the description below to get you started. Thank you to everyone who chooses to support Bite Size Piano on Patreon and other avenues. Let's dive in. So this is in the key of E major. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of E major. melody and the chords are formed using those notes. The four chords that play most of the way through the song is E major, B major, C sharp minor and A major in some inversion or other. Um, so those are the four chords um, but obviously they are broken up in a particular way. We're going to go over the intro. The intro um, is just the right hand. There's actually no left hand bit in there. So the, what you're going to do first, here is middle C for reference. And we're forming the chord around this part of the piano. So you're going to play E major second inversion just by itself. So that's B, E and G sharp. So we've got and then we have the single note, so G sharp, E, B, G sharp, E, B. So it goes one, two, three, four. And then the next bit is based around the B chord, um, so it's going D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, D sharp. So from the beginning we have and the next chord is based around the C sharp minor but it's going to be a C sharp minor 7 because we've got this B in there. So you're going to play C sharp G sharp, E, B, G sharp, E, C sharp. So like this. And then the last chord is based around just A major root position. So it goes A, C sharp, E, C sharp, A, E, C sharp, So I'm going to do all of that again. So that's the intro, you just play that through once and then you play that two more times for the first verse. So here you could actually bring in some left hand, so you could play the root notes of those chords. So that would be E for the first bit, B, C sharp, A.
So that's the verse. I just want you close Where you can stay forever You can be sure That it will only get better And then now we're into the pre-chorus So you and me together so that carries on. You me together through the days and nights. I don't worry cause everything's gonna be alright. And now you go through the same chords but the inversions in which you play them are slightly different. So I'm gonna go through this now, and then this is also this way that you play it for the chorus as well. So still just E, B, C sharp, A in the left hand, uh, but the right hand you're going to go E, G sharp, B, G sharp, E, B, G sharp, E. And then the, the B bit, so I know this is a little bit of a wider hand position, but this is just what's being played. So we've got D sharp, F sharp, B. F sharp, D sharp, B, F sharp, D sharp. And then the next bit is just the C sharp minor, so not C sharp minor 7 this time. So we've got C sharp, E, G sharp, E, C sharp, G sharp, E, C sharp. And then the next chord is based around an A, so you're kind of going to stay in there, you're just going to change the G sharp to an A. So again, this is the second half of the first pre-chorus, and it makes up the all of the choruses as well. So I'll just demonstrate that from the beginning of the pre-chorus. carries on into the chorus no one, no one, no one get in the way of what I'm feeling no one, no one, no one get in the way of what I feel for you Okay, and then we're into the post-chorus. So this bit, we're kind of just playing like um, rock, rocking chords. You, you, you can get in the way of what I feel for you. And then it's into the second verse. So the first time you play it the same, um, so go back to this bit. When the rain is pouring down, and my heart is hurting. And then we're going back to playing chords again for the next bit. to the second pre-chorus, so back into this bit again.
goes on into the second chorus. Um, so, in the chorus, the left hand, instead of just holding the notes down of every bar, um, we're not going to do the exact bass line, but it's pretty much going like this. If I just demonstrate it before I sing it, so it's going... It repeats it again there. Repeats it. Repeats it. So you're always playing the, the, uh, the bass note one more time just before you go into the next one. So I know some people search the world. So now I've got um, a completely different section. So the first chord here is an F sharp minor. So F sharp's in the bass, and then F sharp, A, C sharp in the right hand. So you're gonna hold that for four beats. Two, three, four. And then we have G sharp minor. So you're just moving that up one because it's an ascending chord progression. So G sharp's in the bass, and then G sharp, B, and D sharp in the right hand for four beats. Two, three, four. And then up again to A major for four beats. So A's in the bass, and then A, C sharp, E in the right hand, and then C sharp minor. So you could go up to C sharp minor again, or you could just off from the A, you could just change the A to a G sharp and then obviously change your left hand to C sharp there. So I'll just do what we've done so far. And now some people search the world to find something like what we have. And then it almost repeats that again. And now people will try, try to divide something so real so to the and now we're going to play b major this time and so to the end of time i'm telling you there ain't no one then be into the chorus so i'll do that again i know some people search the world to find something like what we continues no one can get in the way of what I'm feeling no one no one no one can get in the way of what I feel for you and then it's the and then you basically keep doing that until the end. There's no piano in this last bit, it's just guitar, so you can just go in just whatever rhythm you want. And then B major, C sharp minor, A major, then it ends on E minor. 
minor, uh, E major, second inversion. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.